Hey, hello guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Sagar Pachapati, and in this video, I will be talking about what is map transformation in PySpark using Databricks. So, before we go to the video, I would like to introduce my channel, Geek Coders. Here, I upload videos on Azure Data Factory, Azure Database, SQL, Python, and so on. So, if you are liking my content, you can subscribe to my channel and share with your friends so that everyone will get benefited. So, let's get started with today's video. So for that, let me open my notepad first. So here I have written the definition of RDD map transformation is used to apply any complex operations like adding a column, updating a column, transformation, the data, etc. The output of map transformation would always have the same number of records as input. Okay. If you are using a data frame, then first convert it into RDD and then use map transformation. It is narrow transformation because shuffling doesn't happen in it. So this map transformation is applies on each rows. Okay. This is the funda of this map transformation. Now let me go back to my community edition. Here you can see I have loaded this file fill na.csv with the with column ID name age and these I one, two, three, null, A, B, C a b d and 12 11 these values okay what i used uh, in the last video the same file i'm using in this video also now what i will do first our task is to load this file so i will write here df is equal to spark dot read dot csv and then take this path here write option header comma two then option infer schema two and then do a df dot show Now, if you can see, we have the data set like this. Now, I want to apply a map transformation. So, shall I do it or not? Okay, let me write a code for you. So, since this is the data frame, I have to convert into a RDD. So, I write df.rdd and then I use map function. Inside this, I will write lambda, let's say some variable x, and then what I am doing, I am converting this id. Right now it is 1. So what I am doing, I am multiplying, I am, I am multiplying this id column into 100 plus 1. So if you can see here, this 0 is the index okay index of the column so zero means id one means name two means age likewise i am writing here x one and x two so if i do df1 dot collect then you can see here it is showing unsupported opened type if for this none type and int since we have nulls here, I cannot do this transformation. So for that, what I will do, I will use na.fill and instead of a null in integer column, I will assign into with 0. And, and uh, let me add here subset is equal to id. For this id column i need it now you can see we have 101 before it is 1 2 means in the place of 2 it is 201 in the place of 3 it is 301 and in the place of uh, 0 it came 1 okay okay let me move this plus 1 now just run this so it is done now see I am using RDD now. What I will do? I will just convert into a data frame. 
so you notice here while i am converting into this data frame if i do df df2 dot show then you will see one minor difference we do not have headers here now so we have to define here headers so let me write down id name and age then if you want to you know write this data frame into a table or into the location you can do that now this is the this is the one way to achieve the same result what else we can do we can write like this x dot id i believe let me try yes you can write like x dot column name and here x dot h okay both are same now since i am passing this expression here what i will do now i will try to create a function so let me write fun map let me pass here x as a variable and then return return x dot id in 200 same thing i am doing now instead writing here i am creating a function here because sometimes what happens this expression or formula is very big so you know writing writing down here it's not feasible that's why i am you know writing one function and i will pass this function call this function here so i write here x dot x dot name comma x dot age both are same just remove this line And write this and let me first define fun map function and now let me run this command number three now if you can see here we have the same output right we have the same output over here so this is the way how can you do how, how can you use map transformation in data frame so two things here if you are using data frame you have to convert into rdd and then you can use it okay and you like we have two method whether you can you know pass pass the expression over here only or else you can pass the you know you you can call the function also so i hope this video you have understood and you are liking my content if you do do subscribe and share to my channel and share with your friends so that uh, as you know it, it will be useful to others also and moreover to this i am adding more videos on the same playlist uh, in coming days and uh, yeah thank you